Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the top 5 best mid-range smartphones. Starting at number 5. Moto G Stylus. The Moto G Stylus, also known as Moto G Pro, is one of the few mid-range smartphones with an integrated stylus. It offers a decent screen, performance and camera, though it may lack in battery life and high-stakes gaming. We like the stereo speakers, the water-repellent coating on the body, and the presence of audio jack and FM radio. We are also fans of Moto's clean Android experience. We are just not thrilled with the battery life, charging speed and the overall camera quality and experience. The Moto G Stylus is cheap at the States though, and we recommend giving a try. For more information and latest price, check out the product links in description, underneath the video. At Number 4. Galaxy M31 s If you have slightly more to spend, we'd recommend the Galaxy M31 s It had a limited launch this August, but we expect it to hit more markets soon enough. The M31 s has a 6000 mAh cell inside, paired with a nice 6. 5-inch full to mold, a speedy Exynos mid-tier chip and a promising camera setup if that's not an all-rounder, we don't know what is. The M31s has a rather plasticky build, and its glossy back is nigh impossible to keep clean not strictly a deal-breaker, but a nuisance nonetheless. Its predecessor the Galaxy M31 is slower to charge and packs a 6. Far a mold instead of 6. 5, but it's the same phone more or less. So, if the M31s is impossible to find, the M31 will do the same fine job. The M31 will do the same fine job. The M31... Halfway of my listed number 3. Samsung Galaxy A51 The Galaxy A51 is the typical Samsung mid-ranger with great mold screen and capable enough chip, while its camera is up to par most of the time. It is a plastic phone and is such a huge fingerprint magnet. The A51 also disappoints with its low-light images and lacking video capturing modes, but it makes up for that with smooth One UI experience. The Galaxy A51 sure isn't the best phone, but the A-series are often subsidized by carriers, and these galaxies have a rather strong following out there. So, it deserves a spot in this guide, and you should check with your local Coming in at number 2. Xiaomi Poco X3. There is no better mid-ranger than the Poco X3 NFC, if your budget is around the 250 euros mark. The phone offers unbelievable bang for the buck you get a large 120Hz display within a splash-proof body, snappy performance, a very good quad camera, and pretty amazing battery life. The Poco X3 NFC omits nothing it has a 3. 5mm jack, stereo speakers, a microst slot, IR blaster, FM radio, NFC. It runs on the latest Android and MIUI versions. There is only one issue with the X3, but it will be noticed by few if any users slower pixel response time, which may result in smearing or ghosting when scrolling. But as we said you need to really look for it, and even then you may not be able to notice it. For it, and even then you may not be able to notice it. For it. And number 1. Moto G Fast. Another US special is the $190 Moto G Fast. It has a water-repellent coating on its plastic body, offers a large enough screen, and an adequate chip to handle its 720p resolution. Just like the Nokia 5. 3. This one also shows camera potential with a triple setup, the 4000 mAh battery capacity should be plenty, too. The Moto G Fast runs on the latest Android, clean at that, even if it's not an Android 1 phone. It's not the fastest either, despite what the name suggests. It's quite cheap and it does offer enough for its price, and that's why we are putting it in this shortlist. For more information and latest price, check out the product links in description, underneath the video. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you found it helpful. Please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. If you have any question, you can leave a comment below 